guys, sorry this didn't go up yesterday. Um, remember my vlog from yesterday? That was quick. It fell out. So, you know, there was a little drama with that. Thankfully, I'm not really in pain. Gum's a little inflamed, but other than that, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was more just relief that I'm not worrying about it falling out, potentially choking on it every two seconds. So, yeah. So, anyway. Getting on with things, this is another lip balm review. This one for the last of the Hershey's Kisses ones, you know, unless they release some more. <laughs> but yeah, so this one is the re-release of the Mint Truffle one, which they did a Mint Truffle, I believe, also with Christmas Collection. And in that one, it wasn't very good. But most of this collection have been better. I mean, even the Cherry Cordial one that wasn't that great, it wasn't horrible. It just wasn't like the best in the world, but it was still better than it had been before. So we'll see how this does. I'm trying to cut the packaging. I freaking hate the clamshell packaging because it's so hard to open. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a little bit weird right now. Okay, so should be able to just lift that off now. Yep. Okay. Oop. Okay. Did it take the gummy stuff with it, or is it still in there? Ha! Ah, when it's still in there, it's not on the thing. I don't have to peel it off. Yay! So, here's the packaging of it. Just like a little minty green Hershey's Kiss, which makes sense, since it's mint truffle. And the balm itself is going to also be shaped like a Hershey's Kiss. Oh. Thankfully, that was the cap and not the lip balm. Oh my god, that would have been so horrible. Okay, that doesn't smell terrible. But, um... Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's all pretty much just one solid cover, or cover, color throughout. I'm still waking up, guys. So, there's that. But yeah, so, packaging was, it feels more like an EOS, like the other ones from this set have. So, I mean, that helps a little bit with getting a better grip on these than the other ones that were just slippery and was like, how do I get this thing open? Um, but it's still a little bit fiddly trying to get it open and shut all the way. Just saying. So, not the greatest. And it still doesn't have like a proper locking mechanism anywhere in it. It doesn't click into place anywhere. So, you're always wondering, did I get it? Did I not get it? I don't really know. Yeah, I'm not so much a fan of that part of it. But it is what it is. These are not natural or organic. Although they do um, have a beeswax base. But there's also a lot of really synthetic things in here. So it's kind of hybrid. But... I would venture to say this is more, um, more <laughs> synthetic than anything. Oh my god. I, like I said, I am not all the way awake yet. I've only been awake for about 15 minutes, so. Okay, so this, I think, is limited edition. And it is part of the set of four that just came out. But, um, I don't think they're gonna sell them very long. I think these were for Valentine's Day. I'm not positive on that. Not 100%, don't quote me on it in case I'm wrong and they are a permanent collection, but I think they're limited edition. So, <clears throat> there's that. Shelf life, it doesn't have, like, an expiration date listed anywhere on it, but it does have a recommended toss after 24 months of opening thing, which, pretty standard, especially for a more synthetic one. So there's that. Price point really depends on if you find them in store or not, and even if you do, what store you find them in because um some stores are selling them like as low as like a buck buck fifty some stores are selling them for like seven dollars so it just it just really really depends where you're finding these at and that's not even counting third-party sellers that's not even touching on those so this is just like legit brick and mortar in the store stores I'm talking about. But there has been such a vast array with the pricing on these, and I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> these are not worth seven dollars. If you see them for seven dollars, don't fucking bother. Find them somewhere else, because it is. I will tell you right here now, it's not worth seven dollars. None of them are. <laughs> so I mean, they're okay if you can find them real cheap. All right, but don't waste seven dollars on these. You will have so much buyer's remorse if you spend that much on one. <laughs> anyway, so sturdiness wise, um, they're not great. Even though they improve the texture of the outside, they're still ultimately very thin, pretty flimsy plastic. It just masks that fact a little better, but I mean, you touch the inside of it, 
it still feels like a friggin' ping pong ball, and still sounds like one if you drop it. So, I mean, I did that one on purpose. That one wasn't me being clumsy. But, um, I have to get that dust off. <laughs> yeah. Genius. Genius. But, um, but yeah, so they're not the greatest on the planet in terms of packaging, but, I mean, it could be worse. I've seen way worse. So, <laughs> there's also that. Uh, there's no special features like SPF for medication, so we'll move on to scent. Honestly, you know what? Just like the other mint truffle, I am still smelling fucking coconut. But like a minty coconut. So I mean, they at least tried a little bit on this version of it. Little teeny tiny bit. But not real hard. Um... Yeah, it still smells more like coconut than mint, which is so weird because mint should not be a hard flavor to nail. Why this company has such a hard time trying to do it, I don't know, but both times they've tried, it just smells like coconut. I'm like, that, okay, that's great, but if you're gonna make coconut, market it as coconut. If you're making mint, make it actually smell like mint. And like I said, with this one, at least the kind of little teeny, 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 tiny bit smells like some mint in there. But it's like 90% coconut, 10% mint. So it, it's, yeah. It's, it's not a bad smell per se, but it's just not very true to what it's supposed to be. So it's got the exact same issue that the other one did. Except not quite as badly, because at least there's a teeny hint of mint in there, whereas the other, no, not at all. It was just straight coconut. So, also on this one, you can kind of pick up on the weird plastic smell of the packaging with it. The other ones, I have not noticed that. This one I do, and I'm not sure why only this one and not the others, or why this one even does that. So I feel like I should throw a disclaimer out there that that's a thing. Especially because I'm personally sensitive to plastic scents. I mean, at least this one's not like a really toxic smelling plastic, so it's not making me dizzy or anything, but yeah, just letting you guys know that that's a thing. Now, hopefully this goes on clear. It doesn't weird leave a weird greenish tint. I'm going to venture to say it'll probably be clear, but let's find out. Yeah, that's just clear. Okay, good. And yeah, my lips are very, very chapped right now. I'm trying to tell if there's a flavor. Not really. No. Okay. <clears throat> good to know. So yeah, it um doesn't smell very accurate. Doesn't taste like mint. Doesn't have the minty tingliness. They kind of shit the bed on this one, so. Sorry, but no. Consistency-wise, it's not terrible. It's probably the best thing about it, honestly, is the consistency. It's kind of nice. Um, actually, I'm looking real quick at the ingredients list again. See if they actually put coconut in this. Maybe that's why it smells so much like coconut. No. Unless it's hidden in with fragrance. So I really don't know why it smells like coconut. Oh my gosh, okay, whatever. But, um... Consistency-wise, it's pretty thin, but it is a, a fairly creamy, um, almost greasy type of a texture. Not not in a bad way, either, I should note. Because, I mean, that, that description can go either way. But no, this one's not in a bad way. Um, it's very smooth and very slick. No stickies. Yeah, not sticky at all. So that, I like that about it. Just, I wish it actually smelled like mint and not like coconut. I mean, again, if they marketed it as coconut, I'd have no problem. But the claiming it to be mint, and if you're telling me it's mint, I go into it wanting mint, and when it doesn't smell like mint, I'm gonna be mad. Just saying. So, there's that. <clears throat> In terms of moisturization, you know... You should really pick up something better than these if you're looking for moisture. I mean, these, they're a novelty. 
you, you should probably know that just through common logic of what they look like going into it that you're basically buying this for the novelty of having a lip balm that looks like a Hershey's Kiss. You can't expect it to be great quality because honestly it's not that great. So, shine factor wise, I don't think it's got much going on. No, not really, just a little, little tiny bit, but it's not that shiny. It's just, you can tell there's a sheen of something there, but it's not really shiny, so, okay. And longevity, these don't stay on that long, honestly, so. Uh, drinky test? Wow, first sip, it thinned out. <laughs> Yeah, the middle of my lips. Within two sips, it's gone. That's how short-lived this stuff is, so that's why I say, you know, if you really want it for moisture, like, use something better than this, because it's, it's not going to do you any favors. So my overall rating this one's not going to be that great. <clears throat> Format-wise, like I said, the, the shape of it is so wonky, it makes it hard to apply, so it loses a point for that. Packaging-wise, I don't like that it doesn't lock into place and that it just feels so cheap. I, I don't know. I don't like it for that. Um, the weirdness with the pricing across different stores being so vast and so unfair in some stores, you know, that's a strike against it. Um, the scent not smelling like mint, that's a strike against it a big time. <clears throat> Um, the fact that it just does not stay on, that's a strike against it. Has, like, no longevity of which to speak. Um, I think I'm going to go with a 4 out of 10. I mean, it's not the literal worst thing I've ever used, nor can I claim it to be. But it, it's not good, and honestly, I don't think you should waste your money on this. I mean, I get that... If you're watching this, you're probably a lip balm collector like myself, and you probably just, for completion's sake, want it, and if that's your business, you know, go for it. But if you're actually, like, looking for this to see if it's good or not, and if it's worth the money, I, I would honestly say this is a skippable one. So, that that's just my opinion. You don't have to listen to it, but that just, you know, just saying. If... <laughs> if somebody had been that honest with these new ones that the two remakes are pretty much as sucky as the originals, I probably would have skipped them, because I did originally only buy the two new flavors, and then when they turned out to be good, because I honestly expected them to suck as much as the Christmas set, I figured, oh, maybe they fixed the two re-releases. Not so much. So, I'm just being blunt with you guys that, you know, th this one and the Cherry Cordial one are very skippable. So, it is what it is. If you want the raspberry cream one and the classic chocolate, those, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Those two are actually worth it, but these two, skip them. So, anyway, that's all I have to say on this one. So, as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Use, uh, leave comments down below. Uh, do you have this one? What did you guys think of it? Let me know down below as, long, uh, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. And until next time, bye!